so I have a new haul for you today, another dish haul. I hope you can see me. I'm filming this on my own because my little videographer is homeschooling at the moment. So I hope at least you can see me and it's clear. I'll link my last haul down in the description box below. So some of those things didn't fit. I've sent that back and then now I've got some new products from the return and I actually bought a few more as well. Um, so let me go through the products and then I will show you what they look like um, after each little bit. So let's have a look. So first things up is this gorgeous linen, 100% linen skirt. It is divine. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love it. This was $149 and um, it is part of the new bridal collection. Uh, but I just thought, you know, around here, because I live near the beach, it would just go perfectly around here. Um, it's really heavy, actually. So it's a full, it's actually a full linen skirt. I will show you what it looks like here. This little top is called the Odessa White Rib Knit Top. It was $39.99 and then I'll pop the price up here on how much it is. I did get this little crop top as I was planning to wear it with the skirt, but now looking at it, it's actually, I thought it was going to be white white, but it's actually more a cream. Um, so I don't know if it's actually going to go, it's not really, I don't know if it's actually going to go the way I thought it was going to go with the skirt. Uh, with that big full skirt, as it's part of the wedding edit, it's kind of more bridal the way that they style it. And I, and I wanted to bring it down to be a bit more streetwear um, and what you, could, what, you know, what we could wear on an everyday kind of basis or when you go out. Then I got this beautiful little linen dress. It looks like a little baby doll dress. I think that this one might be a little bit big for me though. I haven't tried it on yet, um, as it just came in the mail this morning. Um, but. I'm a bit concerned it might be a little bit big for me. I've got a size 12. This is where I'm struggling with the sizing. Um, I've got a size 12, but I probably should have got it even an 8 or a 10. I'm not sure. We'll see. And I'll try it on here. Okay, so I've just tried on this dress, but it's humongous. Now, I'm normally a 10 to 12. I think it does fit me on the shoulder, so maybe this is the way it's supposed to look, but it just... To me, it feels like it's just, um, it's just swamped me. <laughs> I probably could easily go down the size, so that's, you know, I think maybe if we try and cinch in the waist. That definitely looks better, but I still feel like there's just too much material. This linen's such good quality, it's really thick. Um, yeah i just think yeah you can see it's just too big for me i feel like it just swallows me up i think this one will be going back <laughs> then i got this beautiful cream trench coat um, this is in the sale as well this one is called the alistair cream the alistair cream linen trench coat <laughs> um, which is gorgeous they uh, this is in the cream color but i think it looks But I think it will look so gorgeous with this chocolate brown. It looks really nice. I think, I think it really complements the colours. Um, but I'm a bit concerned that I possibly could actually go a size down. It's $189.99 and um, this is what it looks like on. So I've just got my little Target jeans on that I love. And this is the top that I got from Dish the other week. I suppose you could like tie it in the back. I'm not sure about this one. So this is the trench. So you can wear it like this. It actually could be nice as a little dress um, and done up. 
put the little splits in the side. You'll have to let me know what you think. I'm not 100% on this trench coat. As beautiful as it is, and it's that gorgeous linen, um, I just don't know if it suits me. I feel like it just is swallowing me up. <laughs> I think maybe if I send it back and get a size 10, that might be better. So this is the 12. Um, and I normally am a 12, but I just think maybe because it's the puffy sleeves as well, I just feel like it's a lot of material. Ooh, I think that's going to go back as well. And then I've got this cute little set. Now that's, um, it's the material sort of like a knit. It's really nice quality. It's got a little top that goes with it, a little matching set. It's really cute. Um, I did get it in the size 12 because I don't like my I don't like my sort of loungewear to be tight on me. I like it to be nice and relaxing and comfortable. You can lay on the lounge and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't like cut into your tummy. Um, but it's really cute. The pants look like little genie pants. <laughs> This is the Jolly White Boxy Rib Top and it was $39.99 but and I'll pop the price here of what it come down to. And these are the Jolly Jolly Cream Rib Pant and I just love the feeling of these pants. They feel so nice. I'm going to wear them down on my beach wall. They're just gorgeous. And then this is also in the sale. It's a little, you know, little flouncy kind of little skirt. It's in, this one was $69.99 and I think it was down to $20. So it's a real bargain. They do have the long version of this skirt. I think it's called the Dylan skirt, which I really like the look of. But with the linen, cause it's such good quality thick linen, it really sort of sits right out. I noticed that with the Nora pants as well, it wasn't as flattering on me. I felt like it made me look a lot bigger than I am. Um, so I don't know. I this so I will try this on and just see what it looks like. If it's not great, it's not one hundred percent. I might send it back. For, but for twenty dollars, I think it could be great in summer just to chuck on with a little top, and you're good to go. <laughs> I'm just not sure if it's me, to be honest. And if you didn't see my last haul, which I will link below, I did pick up this little chocolate top, which is gorgeous. And this little singlet. And this little top. And this little jumper. So I feel like I've got a nice little capsule wardrobe happening here with all of these products. Um, I really love the style of this store. I'm a little bit obsessed with it, if you haven't noticed. Um, if there isn't anything that doesn't fit me well, I will send it back and then I will get, you know, there's lots of other things on there that I really like. So I've just sort of been focusing on the sale items just so I can get a bit of a taste of their sizing and what I like. Um, and then I'm really going to go in and get some of the more, you know, the full price things. But I'm sure there's some stuff will start coming out soon, um, which I have noticed with the spring edit, which is where that skirt came from. Um, but I really do love this brand. I'm a little bit obsessed. It's a problem. <laughs> Every time the mailman goes, my husband's like, oh my God, again? And I'm like, I've got to show everyone. <laughs> But the problem is I've got all these beautiful clothes and I've got nowhere to wear them. So so I hope you enjoyed this haul. I really love showing you everything. And oh, I should tell you actually, this really cute little jumpsuit, which I love, is from, um, I got it from David Jones a little while ago, actually probably a year and a half ago, but they always stock it. And it is the, um, the Good American jumpsuit, which is the Chloe Kardashian brand. She definitely knows how to fit a woman's body in those clothes. It was expensive. It was definitely over $200, um, but they do have sales all the time. So if there's sales on it, David Jones, definitely check out the Good American products because they've got great, you know, great jeans as well. But my new obsession is Target jeans and I actually do like them better than, they're, I feel like they last me longer and they're a better, thicker sort of quality denim. 
but they the reason why the good americans are so um the good american jeans are so good is that they don't cut into you at all so even if you've got a mummy tummy which i definitely have um it just the way it's cut just makes you look like you've got a nice little flat tummy very cute but i love this jumpsuit and if you can see the bottom <laughs> i need my daughter here to help me film but um it's a great little jumpsuit and i highly recommend it so please don't forget to check me out on instagram i do lots of reels and i'll have photos of all these beautiful items over there and um, all that glitters is mum's life please let me know which items you like the best and what you think i should keep and what i should um, send back <laughs> i look forward to hearing from you guys This little friend and we're sitting in the sun on this nice winter's day look at that it's beautiful getting my vitamin d for the day <laughs> look how beautiful these roses are from aldi they're so gorgeous this is the second week i've had them and they're still going strong absolutely beautiful my candles are going it smells so nice <laughs> so i just wanted to talk to you about another um another delivery that i've just received from js health i have used a couple of their products before but i do have a new one that i haven't tried so as i've probably mentioned to you before i do have I do suffer from stomach issues. If you watch my weight loss series from last year, um, I did, I lost seven kilos. I'm actually gonna need to go back on it because I've already put a couple of kilos on since being in lockdown. I don't know what it is about lockdown. It <laughs> just, everything goes out the window. Our uh, routine goes out the window, everything. And all I wanna do is eat everything. My little boys are making these amazing Sundays too every night and I just can't say no. <laughs> Anyway, it'll give you something to do. <laughs> um, but I, I definitely suffer from bloating really badly. I, I'm sure it's some sort of undiagnosed OBS or something because it's just been an issue for such a long time. I do have, um, I do have, what's it called? I do have Hashimoto autoimmune disease, which is a thyroid condition. So I do put on weight really, really easily. Um, and my body definitely reacts um, to all sorts of foods since I've been diagnosed. I was making some toast up there, don't mind the noise. <laughs> I found some great tablets that have actually helped with the bloating, so I wanted to share those with you. And I've also picked up something else. I did use, um, I, did, I do use Bondo Boost products, hair, hair and shampoo, um, and all their products. I love their products. And I also were taking their vitamins. <laughs> noisy <laughs> um, and yeah so I did take their hair growth vitamins which I think are amazing I do take there's two different types I'll put some photos just here so you can see what they look like um, and they're fantastic I've probably been, been taking them for too long though I think I've probably had them I've been taking them for about eight months so I definitely noticed a big difference in my hair definitely grows because one of the side effects with um with Hashimoto and the thyroid condition that I have is hair loss and it's definitely helped a lot even my eyebrows like I'll lose all my eyebrows as well but that I've got eyebrows so it's that it's an amazing product um I will I've just decided to try something a little bit different because I have had such success with these other tablets so I'll show you those now here we go like I said I've had yeah, I've had amazing success with these tablets. I absolutely think they are amazing. But normally when I eat pasta and oh, any uh, so many things just set my stomach off, but I do find that even now when I take these, by the end of the day, my stomach doesn't look eight months pregnant. It might look four months pregnant, but it's not as crazy as it, as it normally is. So I'm definitely seeing a big difference with this. Um, so that's the detox and de-bloat. I highly recommend those. 
Um, then I just wanted to try these. So this is the JS hair and libido tablet. So look, I've got a good libido, but you know, it can't hurt to have an extra little boost, can it? I'm sure my husband will be happy about that. Um, so I just want to give these a try. So they are supposed to give you energy and then they've got also, the reviews were amazing for the hair side of things as well. So I just thought I'd change it up a little bit. I will link this down below so you can have a look at it. This also has iodine and zinc to maintain a healthy thyroid gland. So I thought I would give it a try. I don't know whether I should actually check with my endocrinologist, but I don't think they're, um, you can contact them at the moment, whether this would be okay with Hashimoto and then taking the Uroxin tablets. I'm hoping that they are, but I will try it. If I feel it strange, then I'll stop taking them. But I'm going to um, give these a go. So I will let you know in an upcoming video how they are. So I just thought I'd show you these as well in lockdown and who knows what's going to happen. Um, things can be quite stressful. I know I definitely feel the anxiety. You know, my husband's home from work as well. Construction's closed down. My work's closed. So, you know, it... Things are getting a little bit stressful that it's lasting so long um, but this I definitely have found that they help so much if you're having stress as well or just some anxiety um, this really is a great natural way of just sort of calming everything down it helps me sleep as well and I just thought I'd mention these to you because I really do get quite a lot of relief from these and that's the Blackmore's executive fee I'll tag everything in the description box for you So here is my book of the week. It is a gorgeous little book that my auntie gave me and I just love it. It's called Ikigai, The Japanese Secret to a Long and Happy Life. And it says, the people of Japan believe that everyone has an Ikigai, a reason to jump out of bed each morning. Inspiring and comforting, this book will give you the life-changing tools to uncover your personal Ikigai. It will show you how to leave urgency behind, live Find your purpose, nurture friendships, and throw yourself into your passions. Bring meaning and joy to every day with Ikigai. I got a lot out of this book and I think you'll really enjoy it too. So I wanted to show you. Forgive my nails too. I've managed to just cut them down and keep the acrylic on the tips just to keep them strong until I can uh, use the acetone that I showed you last week. The hardest thing about lockdown is missing out on all the beauty treatments. <laughs> it's a killer. Look at them. <laughs> so I did want to show you another show. So I basically just completely binge watched it in one night. My husband was laughing at me so much. He's like, stop watching the mummy porn. <laughs> so it is, um, you know, it's pretty raunchy, uh, definitely, but it's it's a great, it's a great series. It's probably the best one I've watched in quite a while. Um, I'm sure you're all all over it already because like top 10 in, um, top 10 watched in Australia, but it is really good. If you haven't, if you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend watching it. It's definitely the mummy porn, <laughs> um, but it is really good. So I'm going to show you it. So it's this one. So this is what it's called. It's called Sex Life. Um, but it's really good. It's about this woman and she can't pick between her husband and she's missing her like, you know, young, crazy life when she was young. Um, but it's, it's pretty full on. It's very raunchy, very raunchy. Um, but it's a really good show. Um, I think you guys will like it. Um, if you've seen it, let me know. But, um, and if you've got any other good shows that you really enjoy, please put them in the comments box because my husband and I spend, honestly, I think we do it like for about half an hour every night, just flick through all the options, but just never know what to watch. There's um, a few other ones I want to tell you about as well, but if you've got any good, um, any good ones, please put them in the comments box so we can help each other through this lockdown. <laughs> Okay, so time for the drink of the week. I'm sorry, I'm a bit windsurf. I'm, we've just had a big beach walk and it was so windy down there. You actually, we actually got, it was like a blizzard. No, what's the word? Like a... Sandstorm. Like, like a sandstorm. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this. So I've got a new uh, drink of the week and it is the Smirnoff Salsa. It's ras raspberry rosé, vodka and sparkling water lightly flavoured with raspberry rosé. 
So it's got 70 calories, there's no sugar, and it's 5% alcohol. So I thought I would give this one a try. I've never, um, you know, as you know, I'm a bit of a wine and champagne girl, but um, this looks really nice and it's nice to change things up. So. tastes like raspberry water <laughs> raspberry bubbly water it's very easy to drink actually I think it would be really nice if you added it with ice and put some lime pieces in it and some even raspberries frozen raspberries would be really nice in it as well very easy to drink I do like it it's um it's a change up from everything else and it's not too many calories so I love that <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to pimp it up a little bit. So I've got a little um, little lime there. Come closer and have a look. So I've put some frozen strawberries and some lime in, in there. So I'll pop that in. And then I've got my little glass straw from Big W. And then, now this would be perfect by the pool in summertime. <laughs> it smells nice, doesn't it? Yeah. And I've just popped in some little Coles frozen strawberries. Now that's the drink of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so much better. Highly recommend doing that. That's beautiful. It's really refreshing and delicious. Ready, one, two, three. Cook, Cook with our family. family. <laughs> I know. I know we make a knockoff French brulee creme, French style creme brulee. <laughs> this is very impressive. At any dinner party, it will honestly make you look like a chef. It's yeah. delicious. You need one pack of this creme brulee mix. 250 mils of cream, 250 mils of hot milk. <laughs> 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 and we're four 150 mil ramekins. I think that's a 150 mil ramekin. Okay, so, so we only have two of these, and we're just going to put them in our little bowls we'll here. Pulse, we'll that pulse, are... pulse the rest of the <laughs> So whole cream milk and uh, pure cream. Let me just show you the back here so you can copy it. And this is the mix. You just you get them from Coles yeah. or Woolworths. And there we go, so we pop, that's the whole cream milk going in. <laughs> How sexy is this, having a husband, he makes this for me and it's absolutely delicious and he looks like a professional chef. Not only handsome, but very skilled. <laughs> this is how you impress the ladies, but... <laughs> my son. <laughs> I just learned how to make cream ballet and you get all the women. <laughs> Alright, that's that done. Okay, so then what do you do? To the stove. Uh, on a medium to high heat. Start getting that warmed up. Open up your packet of um, Michael Creme Brulee mix. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like sprinkle it and stir it at the same time. Okay. You just don't want it to be lumpy. That's all. Oh, so he's got to keep stirring the whole time. Yes, yeah, so it does get lumpy. And how long do you cook it for? Uh, so it thickens? Yeah, sort of. Just bring it to the boil and simmer for two minutes. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> what are you two laughing at? Lumpa! <laughs> <laughs> I'll find this lumpy. <laughs> he was like this <laughs> You don't want lumps in your creme brulee, that'd be gross. <laughs> And look at this orchid here, it's finally coming back again. It comes back for me every year. Um, they've been opening up and I've got so many little, look at all these little buds. I'm so excited. And they're just gorgeous. We had these for our wedding flowers, so I just love, love, love them. Let's keep mixing. Oh, I'm so 
and these little orchids have come back for me as well we just got these I only got both of them from Woolworths um, at, when you go into like when you go into the little garden section but these have come back for me as well so the white ones I've had for about four years and this one has been two years but aren't they beautiful here's this little chicken nugget hello <laughs> <laughs> but as it comes to the boil, it'll start, it starts to thicken. So just turn it off and then just let it there for another two minutes. Just over the heat? Yeah, just like a simmer. So you can feel that it feels thicker? You can see it, you can see it. It's oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But you can just see it when you're stirring it. And you can feel it. So he stirred this the whole time? For about five minutes. Yeah. It depends on your stove up the so we stirred it for two minutes. That's it, That's it now. Yeah. Take it off the heat. And what do you do? Pour it in the bowls. Oh, that's it. Then we let it cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we've made big ones. <laughs> You can make it all in one tart dish if you like. You could even do it into little... Oh, you can make it in one big bowl. Yeah, just yeah. Just make we're... like one big bowl of it and just smash mm. through that. But that, we're just doing it to show you. That's what we would probably normally do, but we yeah, just wanted... Yeah, we just wanted to show you what it said on the back of the packet. Well, I made two packs and just made one big bucket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it out of the bucket it's in the ground. Blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> so you put them in the fridge for about two hours and then we've got our sugar and a little blow torch. Okay, so it's it's been a few hours and they've now set. They're not, you can see, they're not moving. They're, uh, <laughs> okay, they look perfect. How's it feel? That's just good. Nice. Yeah. It looks really soft, it looks like it's such a temptation <clears throat> to punch it. Okay, so what are you doing? Uh, a bit of sugar on top, thinly. Yeah. Can you finally? Finally. <laughs> <coughs> Shake it around so it's all even across. blowtorch if you've got a kitchen one even better but we just have a lighter and then you want to melt it so it caramelizes and gets that little caramelized bubbles and that will give you that sugary crust it looks like it's just turning into butter no, it's turning into toffee <laughs> it looks like butter <laughs> Take your time with that uh, because you really want the little sugar crystals to melt, otherwise, it'll be grainy. So, you want it to be all nice and melted like this. What a legend! Sexy legend. <laughs> smells nice, it smells beautiful, doesn't it? Like toffee. to get that sort of caramelization on them. Okay, so we've got a really nice crust on there now. And listen. Tap, tap, tap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the light is playing up. <laughs> it looks like it's burning Dad's hand off. Let me see when you crack it. Oh, look at that. It's perfection, guys. What do you think, Daddy? Legend. It's so good. Is it bussin'? <laughs> bussin', bussin'. It's, honestly, it's so impressive when you have a dinner party. Highly recommend pulling one of these out if you're having a date or you wanna just, you know, impress your family. It's so easy and even a husband can do it. <laughs> and it's so good. I'm gonna have some now. It's really, really creamy. 
look at that. It's so creamy. It's just divine. Look at that. Yum. So my husband has just brought this deliciousness in here. Besides him being the delicious one, this is so good. Where'd you get it from? Uh, Coles. From oh no, Woolworths. Hello. Woolworths? Green one. I haven't tried, we love, both of us love the rum and raisin ice cream, but this is probably one of the best ones we've ever had. Mm. Delicious. Highly recommend, guys. <laughs> it's 22 degrees here today. It's so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Even Teddy went for a swim. Thank you so much guys for watching and getting all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Take care. Bye. <laughs> These look oh, it's delicious. In the sugar. Yeah, it's burning the sugar. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Potato. I'm making a big mess. <laughs> Pretty linen dress. Um, it's sort of like it's like a little baby. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Did you put the camera up to your mouth so they can hear you bunching on it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Look, it's like perfect. This is I work in a restaurant and it's just as good as this. <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't be that close because I'm. Oh, jeez. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah, so please check me out over there on Instagram. There's some. Um, I, I do lots of. And then. And. Um, So I had to send, um, okay, so I'm a bit windblown from being at the beach today, um, but I did want to show you this beautiful drink and I just realised it matches my top. <laughs> but Dad, be quiet. I can hear you in the background. Can you like push stop? I love you very well. So what I've decided to, <laughs> sorry, that's my husband working. Um, what I have decided to send back is the, is the trench coat, the white dress, and I think also the little skirt. Um, the rest I will, what do I say? Thank you so much for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Say bye. Go the Raiders. <laughs> bye. Oh my god. Join our family, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Join our waffles. One, two, three. Join our family. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.